Yo, what's going on? It is Teacher Michael here, and welcome back to another VIP Kid Brand Ambassador video. In this video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of arts and crafts today. For anyone who has been following my Instagram stories for the last little while, you might have seen me use some of these tools in the classroom. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. Obviously, I use this to teach numbers and colors, but it's also very useful when it comes to reward systems and giving the students points and all of those sorts of things. So later on in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use some of these tools in the classroom. But first of all, let's get to how to make all of this stuff. And in order to teach and explain to you how to make some of this stuff, I'm actually gonna enlist the help of a friend of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our special guest, for the day, this is Struin. Whoa! Hi Struin. Hello. Can you introduce yourself to these people and let them know who you are? I am Struin, the Director of Education and Outreach here at the Institute of Puppetry Arts at Mermaid Theatre of Nova Scotia. Struin, if you would be kind enough, why don't you walk us through the materials that people are gonna need in order to make this number and color stick? The first thing you need is cardboard. The next thing, a dowel. This is around a half an inch in diameter. Struan, focus. Oh, sorry. Scissors. So trim my beard here. Okay, be Don't careful, be careful. Careful with the scissors. Oh, uh, yeah, better put them down. Bristol board. Bristol board, obviously you're gonna need four different colors. Red, yellow, green, and blue. You are gonna need one roll of electrical tape. You're also gonna need one roll of hockey tape. And we're using hockey tape because... Oh, Canada. We're good Canadians. That is it. We didn't want to get super complicated, you know, with nope. fancy things that you have to go out and buy. None of this should be, you know, super hard to come by or very expensive at all. So that's what we're trying to accomplish with this video. So why don't we get to the actual construction of this thing? How do we make it? Let's go. This is actual Struan. Uh, thank you, Struan, for joining us. Struan's gonna walk us through some of the building process. I'm just gonna be kind of hanging out here in the back, giving him some help if he needs it. I don't think he needs help. You don't need help, do you? Well, you, you never know. Step one, what are, we, what are we focusing on here? So step one is we have to make our circles. So uh, it's hard to f do some freehand circles. So what you wanna do is go to your fridge, um, finish your yogurt, and take the top, Slap it on down, take your marker. With these circles, you need to make, depending on the thickness of your cardboard, you're gonna have to make about somewhere in between three and five of these circles. We're gonna use four for today's example, and we're just gonna tape them together. Yeah, make them as flush to each other as possible, but you can always trim around the outside later on if they're not completely even. Very nice work, Struan. Professional. Be Care oh, careful yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry for all the banging. All the banging, Struan's fault. Mm, I'm new at this. <laughs> three, we're on step number three. So you're gonna need to cut out a little bit of a notch so that the, the doweling, the stick, can fit into your circle. You take your dowel, you lay it down. And it's only gotta go into it like maybe an inch, inch and a half if you wanna and all we're gonna do is... be really safe, but. That's it. Actually, one of the things, one of the material things that we didn't mention at the beginning is an X-Acto knife. If you have an X-Acto knife, it's gonna be really helpful for, especially this particular step. There you go. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, Sorry, it was shaking. Well, I'm gonna move the camera so we don't have that happening, all right? Move that camera! I was gonna have you working in the background, oh, but you're right, not, yeah. he's not working. Here we go. <laughs> they call me Santa's little helper right here. This is what I do. And you can just pop each individual one out, right? We're just doing that one now. Mm -mm -mm. One of the keys here is you want to make it snug enough so that your stick is going to have a little bit of friction when it goes into this cardboard circle. That way it's not going to fall off later, so... Presto! Mmm, the cardboard lollipop. This is what it's going to look like after you've cut out those notches, and then you're going to do all of that another time, because we need two of these circles, right? Two, two of them. Once you have that done, um, we are going to fill the inside of the hole with hockey tape. We want to create a little bit of friction inside of this pocket, so that when we put the stick into it, 
that these things aren't gonna fall out, right? You don't want them dropping all over the place uh, during your class. Scissors or teeth, what are we gonna do here? I'm gonna go teeth. You're gonna go teeth? Yeah. You're a brave man. Uh. And what I usually do is uh, I just push down, right? And that gets that section in there. Is there enough friction? You know what? I'm feeling the friction. It feels good. Color, we need to add color. Ooh. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Yogurt lid, sour cream lid, whatever you got. Uh, pop it on your construction paper, your Bristol board, cut out four colored circles. Should I do it out of the center? Yeah, you should do it out of the center. We wanna waste as much material as possible. <laughs> waste not, want not. Does it fit? Yeah, it fits. Presto! And let's get cutting. So next, whoop, whoop. <laughs> what we gotta do is we gotta take our circle and we need to make a little bit of a, a cover over here. And let's, let's tape it down like so. Okay, once you have created your pockets on the circles, now it's ready to add a little bit of color. Best way to do it is we got a little bit of glue. Glue it up. Right? I'm gonna show you what it's looking like up close here. So this is kind of what we got. Got our colors, we've got our little taped pocket, uh, looking good. If you find that your, your colors are sort of flopping out, what you can do, so what I'm doing is I'm just taking the tape, I'm pinching the edges, and I'm just working my way around the whole circle. So what you're doing is you're just getting that rigid tape all the way around, and that's just making it stick together really, really nice. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. We know it works. Tastes like sunshine. Next step is to tape the dowel. So we're gonna start hands on the table. Hands on the table. First one to finish taping the entire stick. No wood showing. On your marks. Get set. Tape. What happens when you don't pay attention? Oh. <laughs> oh. Number one! We are gonna put numbers on these. Okay, now that everything has been constructed, uh, just <laughs> very easily just fit it together. <laughs> Why don't I take a few moments and show you how I use this in the classroom? Obviously, you can teach numbers and colors with it. Number one, number two. Just to try and make things a little bit more interesting, I like to add those little sound effects in here. So, you know, sometimes I may just snap my fingers and go from one to number two, or slap and hit the numbers, just to give it a little bit more life, a little more animation, a little bit more fun. That's what we're trying to accomplish here, is adding a little bit more fun to your classroom and to really get the student engaged in what you're doing. We wanna have fun! <laughs> I also like using this stick as a reward system. So, how do I do that? I am going to spin the stick. You say, stop. When you say, stop, this is how many points you get. Now maybe that's too many words. You can really simplify that and just say, you say stop. Stop. Two points. Yes. It's really that simple. Now in terms of spinning it, if you've had any sort of majorette, is that what they're called? Majorette uh, experience, you may already know how to spin the, these things. It doesn't require a whole lot of dexterity. You really could just flip it yourself and twist and flip. It reminds me of that game. What was it? Bop it, boop it. You know what I'm talking about? Bop it. Twist it. That is how I use it in the classroom. I like for these things to have multi-purposes. So again, I can teach numbers, I can teach colors, I can use it as a reward system. I can also use it as an instructional tool. So if I want the student to answer question one, I will say, you know, maybe read question one. Read question two and use it like that. So there's many different ways that you can use this in the classroom. If you find a new way to use it, let me know in the comments. And speaking of that, we are gonna wrap this video up, but I would like to do a little giveaway. I would like to give away these two number and color sticks that you saw throughout this video, the one that I made and also 
the one that Struan made. In order to be eligible, just drop a comment down below. Just get in there and let me know what you liked about this video, what you didn't like about it, how we could improve it, how this could be improved, whatever you want to talk about. Hit me up in the comments for your chance to win one of these number color sticks. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Teacher Michael. This is Struan. Bye, Struan. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the like button, do all of that sort of fun stuff. And until the next video, I will see you on the internet. Peace.